All right, so again, uh, this is the morning of day 13. Um, let's, let's see actually what we, what, <laughs> actually I have to try to remember now what we were supposed to do. Uh, we want to try to, oh, that's right. So we do want to meet up with the Queen's Knight and give him the ransom that we've raised so far, which has been 61,000 marks. Although I believe the total ransom is 100,000, so we may be a little bit short there. We'll see. Oh, it's 2009. Thank you, Ergbert. <laughs> that would have been awful, Daryl, if they had erased all of our save games and everything. Uh, so clearly, we, I, I mean, I think we want to get King R Richard rescued from the evil clutches of King Leopold. So maybe that's just meeting the Queen's Knight and giving him the ransom, I think. There may have been a setup, I'm forgetting now, at the end of the stream yesterday, which indicated what else we needed to do. Um, I'm a little worried about this. I probably, we missed the boat on exploiting the money ale bucket system. There are probably some points we could have scored there. Uh, although maybe that was just an introduction to, you know what? That could have just been an introduction to the uh, puzzle we did solve with giving the soldiers the money to buy the ale. That, that's possible. Although you'd think there would have been more to that, but there's probably nothing more we can do at this juncture, day 13. All right, so let's try to meet the Queen's Man. I've forgotten if they've mentioned where he will be located, but let's go out and find out by beginning our timer, starting our timer. Just under 12 hours. A farthing for your thoughts, Will. Eh? Uh, oh, I was wondering what will happen to us if the King doesn't return. Those are unhappy thoughts, not worth a farthing. Bad enough we can't send our share of the ransom without the Queen's Knight. And if you can't find and rescue him, we'll be blamed for his death. You know that. Prince John will seize the crown, and he'll spare nothing to rout us out of Sherwood. I know it well. I see little way that I can help. It's up to you now, Robin. He's like, see ya. <laughs> okay. Does this mean we're not having a group, a group strategy think here today on day 13? I guess not. With our merry band. So should we... This is going to be silly if I've forgotten where we're supposed to meet him, but let's just go to the Overlook first thing, just to see if he comes in the first few seconds. If not, we'll obviously go to the town. He might be in disguise and undercover in the town. We'll see. Right, we do. We have to give him the password voyage. We, we did get the password that we have to give to him to uh, so he'll recognize. Okay, it doesn't seem like he's here. Let's quickly visit our other locations just to see if anyone's at any of them. You know what? There, we were supposed to use that water, the spirit of the water at the monastery. We haven't done that yet. Um, we don't have a disguise yet. Can we go to the pub? See, are there soldiers there? Yes, there are. <laughs> All right, looks like a death. Look an outlaw, seize him. Uh, yep, there we go. The poppy is a popular place for the sheriff's men to go. Even a drunk soldier would recognize such a famous outlaw walking into their myth. Perhaps John was overcome with the need for an ale and thought the pub might be empty. A shame, for he never got one before they hung him. Seems like a waste to die for a drop of grog. To Robin Hood, let's raise a toast and hope there is good ale amongst the heavenly host. Okay, there's death 37. Yeah, I don't know if he's really evil. The, the way the introduction seemed, Daryl, it seems to suggest that he was evil. Yeah, greedy, evil, whatever, what have you. All right, so we know we can't go into the pub. Um, so where are we going to find... Can we go to the fair? We don't have any, any disguises is the problem. Okay, the fair is not even an available location anymore to go to. We've never done anything with the, um, that seamstress woman. I dare not set foot inside the town walls dressed as an outlaw. All right, so if we can't get inside the town and there's nothing happening at any of the other locations, and if we go in the pub, we get arrested, um, it looks like the monastery is our only option. And then we can use the ring of water to work with the spirits of the water to uh, get the boat to go across the uh, water here. So let's use our uh, water ring. Take off our fire ring. Put on the water ring. 
Oh yeah, and we do have this note. Um, this was actually from the false Queen's Knight, so we actually haven't even seen the real Queen's Knight. Um, this was the letter O, yeah, maybe we... So this was... Well, actually, let's just read it again. The message reads, I have advised the prince that we have succeeded in our mission. The cub is taken. The lion is caged. Signed by the prior of the monastery addressed to the sheriff of Nottingham. So the prior of the monastery, this is the monastery, this castle in the background here. It's interesting that the prior would send a letter to the sheriff. So essentially, you're going from the monastery there, but we intercepted the letter north of the castle, north of the sheriff, excuse me, when the monastery is south of the sheriff. So that's weird that that would have happened. Why, how did the letter, why wasn't the letter taken directly there? Anyway, minor detail. Will of the Wisps, we are called by the ring that commands water. How may we serve you? Do you wish to cross the water? I seek a missing knight and suspect these monks of treachery. Can you help me? A prisoner is held in a tower of the monastery. Okay, so that could be the Queen's Knight. Wait, we will bring you a boat. Oh, yeah. I, I like how Duriel's actually giving us the real facts behind this legend. That apparently John was a better king, er, and it turned out to be a better king than Richard, etc. Now we're finding out that Richard may have been. We will guide you through the fog to the place you seek. Thank you. We will go before you to lead the way. Follow us, or you will be lost in the fog. Okay, this actually seems... Oh, is this automatic? All right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's not automatic. All right. Let's get another save in here just to uh, save time in case... In case this turns out to be tricky and there's a death lurking. Okay, let's follow them. Oh, okay, we're going faster than they are. <laughs> Is it possible to get a death here? Yeah, let's actually see if we can get a death. What happens if you don't follow them? Brothers, it's an outlaw! Kill him! <laughs> they throw a boulder from the top of the castle. That's your it is. Direct hit. Direct hit. Ah, uh, that was great. I thought he was going to whack us with, like, uh... You know, they would just come and, like, arrest us and throw us in the dungeon or whatever. But no. <laughs> Immediate death. Well, direct hit. Spelled. The prisoner you seek is held within this tower. Our help ends here. We have no power over stone or plant. Thank you, Willow of the Wisps. Okay. Uh, can we get out of here? No. Oh. Okay, there we go. Are we getting out of here? All right. Fear not. We will keep your boat from straying. Thank you, Will of the Wisps. Hey, Pudding. Yeah, this game has been fun. Um, it's definitely on the easier side, but uh, it's been fun nonetheless. Very good um, attention to detail and setting, variety of gameplay. It's been good. Oh, we have some ivy here. These stones are closely set. There is not the least handhold I could use for climbing them. There are common reeds. Blessed Mary, save me from drowning and becoming a will o the wisp. Oh, is that another death we could get? Hang on, let's 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 try getting a death there. Can we drown by walking into the water? No, apparently not. I tried though. I tried. A perpetual gloom hangs over these fens. Yeah, that's true, Silo. It is. It is. Uh, I mean, it's it's a long game, but an easy one. The thick fog both hinders and protects me on the water, but quickly thins out overhead. So why do they have this business with the um? When we looked here, it was this ivy, I imagine. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Okay, you can climb the ivy. I was didn't even bother walking over. The vines broke off at my touch. Okay, so maybe we can't climb up. All right, well, let's walk left then, if we can. The heart piece? What, the emerald? Really? Wow, why? Hey, Joy. The ledge becomes too narrow to go that way. Oh, okay. Can we... Does it wrap around to the right? Let's see. Apparently not. Alright, so... We could climb, but the problem is it thins out, right? Um... Hmm. Is it a part where I grabbed it? Clearly the ivy cannot bear my weight, yet I see no other way to scale this tower. If you do it again, does he like try going up and then it falls and he crashes down and dies? No? Too bad. I cannot climb on bare stone. Alright, um, well what do we have? You know what would be cool is if we attached a rope to our arrow and then like... Shine arrow to the top and then like climbed up, kind of like a grappling hook style sort of thing. The official guide's a bit disappointing. Ah, that that is disappointing, Silo. Um, okay, so we can't climb the the ivy, we can't go left or right. Is there another place where we could land the boat? Let's see. Do they allow you to get back in the boat? Yeah. Probably if we go sail right though, we'll probably die, but let's confirm. I'm guessing you, you die. Yep, you just land back here. Rocked! Q, rock to the head! <laughs> okay, so that's confirmed. We gotta do it on this screen. Um, oh, and they actually show the animation here, which is nice. Ig oh, I thought you were gonna say igneous idea with rock. Make a rock pun. Alright, well, we don't have a whole lot of inventory here. I mean, fire, there's no fire here. I don't think the fire ring would help. Um, this is just a scroll, but not even a magic one. Money, the horn. Uh, clearly we don't want to call our people here. I'm not that eager to die. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and the wisps aren't gonna help us, right? We are of the water and bound to the water. Our power goes no further. Can we grab the water ourselves? You didn't do anything with that. So I wonder if there's another situation where like you had to coordinate with the men ahead of time. What if we had used the horn in the camp? I have no need to shoot at that. All right, let's quickly restore then. Let me just make sure at the camp so we don't try too many other things. So after we talk to Will, he walks away. Can we use the horn? Did people come if we use the horn? As I said, I see no way we can help you in this rescue. We alone have been to the monastery and know the lay of it. Or you alone, actually. If we had the Caesar's army, we might be able to assault the place. Even then, it would be difficult. We could not hope to take it by force. This is true. This is a task best suited to you alone. And we'll make a fine addition to tack onto the end of your ballads. Okay, so that confirms that. However, the way we got broke out of the monastery was by going through that secret gate, so I'm surprised we're not able to do that here. A farthing is too high a price for Will's thoughts. Yeah, it does, the water does look frozen, actually, interestingly enough. Um, so we can't climb the ivy, huh? He said pretty clearly not. Can we take the reeds? The reeds are of no use to me. We can't climb on stone, on bare stone. So, huh? Um, I don't think the emerald would help us. But I already have it. That would serve no purpose. Here, have an emerald. We have no use for mortal things. They're closely set. There's not the least hand cold I could use for climbing them. So, if we can't, um, find don't a hand -told. mess with it. Where is our? Can't use the note. How come I can't have the, um... Where is my bow? I can't use my bow to shoot up? Apparently not. We cannot do that. 
So I think it's something with the Ivy, you know? Oh, okay, I know what we have to do. We have to do the hand spell for Ivy. Then we turn into Ivy and maybe we'll grow up the side of the tower. I think that's it. That's gotta be it. All right, let's get our thing here. Ivy, the name of Ivy in Druid is Gort. Gort. Now we have to use this hand thing to, our hand spell to enter in Gort. Gort, Gort, Gort. Here we go, okay. Gort, G, O, R, T, Gort. Boom. Oh. The ivy has magically doubled in thickness and strength. Wow, only 25 points. <laughs> Glad to, but rather need to. I'm surprised. We, in keeping, if it had been consistent with the rest of the game, we would have turned into the ivy, not ivy growing. That doesn't make much sense. But all right, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Oh, good. My, uh, Workout works again. Excellent. All right, let's climb the ivy. Oh no, we can't lose. By the power of oh shit! Yeah, this is not automa automated, so maybe we could fall. We'll see. Um, let's make a new one. Sixty-four twenty-five IV. We're actually leaving. We're going to finish the rest of the game without our trusty bow and arrow. Kind of sucks. Can you fall down? I cannot cling to bare stone. Okay, even when I try to fall down, I can't. All right, fine. You are so dead. Did you hear something, brother? I thought I did, but nay, it's just the wind in the trees. Ooh, we got to be got to be careful here. Actually, well, we should try to get death. I hear the monks treading quietly upon the battlements. Blessed lady, protect me from their sight. Let's call out to them. Excuse me, could you lend me a hand? You see, I'm nearly safe, but I thought I'd do something truly foolish instead and get myself killed. Brother, quickly, bring some rocks. There's an intruder below. <laughs> Totally worth it, totally worth it. Poor Robin has learned to his dismay that death is but a stone's throw away. Love it. That one, that one, that one. Okay. Who are you? How did you climb the tower? I see no rope. That doesn't work. I'm Robin Hood, and I climbed the ivy that grows on the tower to reach you. I have... Liar! I tried those vines myself. They were brittle and wouldn't support a squirrel, let alone a man. Yet I swear that I climbed them with the aid of druid magic. I have a boat waiting below to take us out of the fence. I'll go nowhere with you until you've proven you're a friend. So yeah, I think we've got a... Um... Oops, we don't want to restore. Uh, we've got to give him the voyage password, so I think we have to do the hand business again. Um, I guess tower tower cell, we'll call this. Let's also look around, as is our custom. These rats are fearless. So these stone walls are impenetrable. The heavy door has a small barred window. I must get the knight away from here before a monk comes to check on him. He has the bearing of a true knight. Judging from the wound upon his head, he must have fought hard before he was captured. The wooden floor is covered with dirty straw, in which large, filthy rats cavort. <laughs> yeah, apparently, Silla, apparently that's the case. The window I came through is the only one in the prison room. And why is this stone brown? Apparently, it doesn't mean anything. Sir, I swear by the blessed lady. Swear any oath you like. I'm no trusting fool. If you are truly Robin Hood, you'll know what I require of you. And if you're not, do Hades with you. 
Okay, so now we can do the uh, voyage. Voyage. Uh, v. Which is like here. O. Y. A. G and E. Good, now I know you're the right man. Then let's waste no more time. Go before me so that I might see you safely in the boat before I follow. You're sure these vines will hold? I am here, am I not? I suppose if I must trust you, I may as well start now. Um, the hand does not have a backspace, but if you just click on the letter that you entered, you can remove it. Brothers, the prisoner is escaping. Stop him! Would you like to save your game now? I think we should. I think I think that's a, a, a sound idea, friend. 6,500. In fact, we need to give that some Cedrics and update our score here. 6,500. Tower escape. Um, so we need to give out two. And then also, let's update the total. Boom. Oh. Ah! They didn't give me much time there, geez. Okay. Yeah, we got the same death message there. So we just have to quickly move out of the way. Oh shit, he adjusted quickly. All right, this is gonna be a little more, more challenging. Oh yes, thank you, sorry. Get rid of that. What the fuck? As soon as I clicked move left, then the, the monk just changed his direction left. Wow. Okay, so, and apparently they want us to do this by hand, not the walk. Yeah, okay, so we only use the hand here. So maybe I wait for him to drop it before clicking on the hand? Yeah, okay, that's what we do. Damn it. We should also maybe restore every time. So two things. One is we maybe should restore, or I'm sorry, save, after we're successfully dodging a boulder. Secondly though, I don't know, are we actually moving down? Is dodging, like if you were to dodge 10 rocks in a row, are you actually climbing at the same time climbing down the tower or do you actually have to click downwards to go downwards? That's the other question. Is it automatic or? Oh, by the way, so that's two more deaths, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna be annoying. Fuck! Okay, I just gotta wait. It seems like it's still hitting us, but as long as you're dodging... Okay, we're moving automatically. Let's, let's save. So it seems like, yes, you are moving down automatically, and B, even if it looks like the rock hits you visually, as long as you are moving at the time that they release the, the boulder, or after they release the boulder, it looks like you're okay. Good thing we saved. That's actually probably halfway why we did it. Hey, I clicked, I clicked, you didn't move. Bullshit. Oh, maybe it's like here. I have to make sure I'm clicking on the actual ivy. Annoying. Wow. Gotta be ready immediately. Okay, save again. Okay, yeah, I think we're like one or two dodges away. Oh, one. To the boats, brothers! If they reach the shore, all is lost! Hey, Travis. The monks were no match for two strong and desperate men. Once within the dark shelter of the forest, it was easy to leave them behind. The Queen's Knight was fed, clothed, 
and his wounds treated in our camp. But as soon as he was arrested, he set forth with all the ransom we had to give him. 61,000 marks. 39,000 short of the required sum, I think. Alright, so we got another 100 points there, so two more Cedrics. One Cedric for every 50 points. Three. Let's save again. Queen's Knight Escape. Ooh, it's a donkey. Perhaps two. Mule, probably. Hey, Marion. There's no need to accompany further. I've loyal men waiting in Nottingham to see me the rest of the way. Then God speed you safely to the Queen's side. I give you my heartfelt thanks, you and all your men, for your aid and loyalty. You almost reach rock bottom. Nice, Terry. I wish you'd gone with him. You'd be safer with the queen. My place is with you until the king returns. Surely you think this cannot be the end of the story. Nay, there is much yet to tell. What follows is a time of waiting. Waiting for the treasure to reach the queen. Waiting for the ransom to reach King Leopold in Austria. Waiting for King Richard to be freed and return to England. Oh dear boy. <laughs> okay. You wait through the long and dreary months of winter for some word of your king's fate. None comes. In winter, friend and foe alike keep to shelter and all is quiet. As the spring of 1194 renews the green of the forest, you go forth with your men to hunt and refill the larders. And apparently we already got captured. <laughs> what the hell? But alas, all your luck flees, all your cunning fails you, and you are taken by the sheriff's men. The sheriff declares you guilty upon the spot and has you and all your men led to the gallows as quickly as possible. That he dares such a thing without a trial can only mean he is sure of Prince John's power to protect him. Despair fills your soul to have fought so long and so well only to dance at the end of a rope. Yet even as the rope tightens about your neck, you hear the drumming of hooves, blare of horns, clash of steel. King Richard has come to Nottingham. I was going to say, we got the bad ending? Like, we did fairly well, I thought. Word came to me, Master Sheriff, that you'd capture the great outlaw, Robin Hood. But I heard nothing of a trial. Is this the way you've kept the law in my absence? But my lord, my king, he is a terrible outlaw, guilty of every sort of crime. I saw no need. My liege, hear me. I am your true and loyal servant. I did not choose to be an outlaw, but was driven to it by corrupt and evil men. Silence, you thieving dog! Enough, I will hear him speak. My king, do you know nothing of the money we sent for your ransom? Not one penny did I or my men keep that we could send to win your freedom. I've not had word from my mother the queen to account for every mark. If what you say is true... My lord, you cannot take seriously the rantings of a desperate man. He will say anything to save his neck. Then it will be decided as it should have been in the court of justice. 
a trial, methinks. Hey, Megabyte. Robin Hood, you and those you call your men stand accused of brigandage, of stealing from the church, defying the sheriff's justice, defying the king's law, and killing the king's deer. Do you deny these crimes? My lord, is it a crime to defy those who abuse your trust and use your laws to their own ends? Is it a crime to seek justice where there is only injustice? I do not defy your laws, only the evil men who use their power for personal gain. I do not steal from the church, but only from greedy men who use the church to gain riches for themselves. Those are strong words. Your life depends upon what I hear before I pass judgment. Because of your, his holy vows, I allowed your man, the Friar Tuck, to go free that he might gather witnesses to speak in your favor. I trusted to his sworn, ward, sw sworn word that he would return and share your judgment, as indeed he has. But there are others here who will speak against you, and their testimony shall also be weighed. Let the witnesses speak. Yeah, I was thinking of that too, Nox. Mer Merchant of Venice. By your leave, I shall speak first. I've served Robin Hood faithfully for many seasons. He is a man of honor, loyal to his king, just and fair. I pray thee, your majesty, to give little mind to this curtle friar. I am the abbot of St. Mary's, and I have been plagued by this rascal of an outlaw. He flouts the sanctity of the church and shows no respect of any true holy man, as this poor monk of mine can attest. Tis true, my liege, he waylaid me upon Watling Street, stripped me of my robe, mocked my dignity, and that... That false friar beat me with his sword, and forced me to toil at chopping wood for his gang of ruffians. <laughs> a poor job he did of it too. Fattened as he is with gluttony and excess of wine and ale, and lazy from a life of unmonkly comfort. My lord king, it was to this abbot that Prince John sent a stolen treasure so that you might languish forever in a foreign prison. It was Robin Hood who swore to do everything in his power to raise ransom for your freedom. And this he did, with every mark entrusted to the knight who brought it to the queen. I have since received an accounting of an exactly the amount the outlaw sent, and will weigh it in my judgment accordingly. Sire, this man is mistaken in accusing the prince of treachery. Your brother intended only to safeguard the treasure until it could be used to free you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It is only from fear of this diligent sheriff that the outlaw sent money, undoubtedly in the desperate hope of winning a pardon for his great many sins. I've not forgotten your sin so quickly, you black-hearted prior. T'was Robin who freed me from your torture. Robin who saved me and set me free. I knew at once he was a good man, good enough that I entrusted to him the ring that commands water. And I kept it safe as full gast of me. Furthermore, I had also the ring that commands fire, which had been taken by the abbot. A scarilous lie. Where are my rings now? Ask yonder, Sheriff. T'was he that took everything from me when I was captured. More lies, my lord. We found nothing of value upon him. What say you, folk? I would sooner take the word of Robin Hood over these rogues. And there is the matter of the Queen's Knight who was also held prisoner in your tower. I, uh, these things can all be explained. You can be sure they will, and to my complete satisfaction. But we are here at this time to pass judgment upon Robin Hood. Your, your judgment will come soon enough. Let the common folk now speak. 
I am only a poor widow. I live by the wool I spin, and with the help of my three good sons. They were wrongly accused of treason, and would all be hanged now, if not for Robin Hood and his men. I owe him the lives of my sons. Her sons consorted with outlaws and deserved hanging. My sons are all I have in the world. I bless Robin Hood for his goodness. God help the wo woman who seeks mercy at the hands of this sheriff or his men. Robin Hood saved me from one of his scoundrels, who wrongly accused me of withholding taxes and would have dragged me to the most hideous fate a woman can suffer. Robin Hood saved me from the pit sheriff's men. They accused me of poaching. But what am I to do when I see my wife and children starving? Because the sheriff taxes us to the last farthing. He treated me fairly. He gave me good money in exchange for my first set of rags. And my mouth is all out of alignment with my face. Ah. Uh. Speak up, yeoman. Let your voice be heard. Ah, I still wear the good suit of Lincoln Green that I was given, and proudly I wear it. <laughs> For thanks to the good outlaws of Sherwood Forest, that I returned to me home with a goodly sum in me pocket, and won me a fair lass to wife. Lady Marion, you asked to speak last. Thank you, my lord. I have come to know Robin Hood well. And I also owe him my life. Pay no heed to this slut, my liege. She's a witch who keeps company with brigands and... Silence! The Lady Marion has served my queen mother for years and is of noble blood. I'll not tolerate such accusations against her. Speak on, lady, for you know Robin Hood very well. Robin Hood is completely loyal to you. He is honest, fair, and true, undeserving of the fate that has driven him to live outside the law. He seeks only peace and justice. He devoted himself to raising ransom on your behalf, even as these other wicked men conspired against you. Don't listen to their lies. Robin and his men are your truest subjects. I beg you to grant them your pardon and your favor. If there is anyone who has not yet spoken, let him stand forth. Very well, the witnessing is complete. Clear the floor and I shall pronounce judgment. Robin Hood, I find you innocent of all charges brought against you. Furthermore, I declare you a free man with no mark of outlaw against you. Your Majesty, I thank you, but my men, if I free the master, I must free the lo his loyal friends. They are granted full pardons. Bless you, my liege. I'm not finished. You deserve more than a mere pardon. The ransom you raised went far in securing my own freedom. Night time. And rise the Earl of Huntingdon. Furthermore, my present Sheriff of Nottingham is hereby under arrest for treason. What happened to his trial? They said we were going to put. He, he was going to have his judgment. What happened to that? What say you to giving the job to Little John? I can think of no better man. The abbot shall take himself from my sight forever. Or have a taste of the fiery steak with which he dared to harm the Lady Marion. The worthy Friar Tuck shall be the new abbot of St. Mary's. Hashtag Rob Robin and his merry men take over the kingdom. And yonder Prior. Most evil cur, you are exiled from my kingdom and your order disbanded for all time. I shall instruct my new sheriff to slay you on the spot if you are not gone from my shores within the week. Wow, he gets a full week. 
Are you content, Huntingdon? My lord, you've done me such honors as I've never dreamt. Yet there is one desire, the deepest of all, yet to be fulfilled. And speak it, man, and it will be done. I ask for the Lady Marian's hand in marriage. Does my lady consent to this? With all my heart. Abbot Tuck, let your first job in office be the marriage of the Earl and his lady. I bless this, oh, yeah, I bless this marriage and declare thee husband and wife. Earl and Lady Huntingdon, you may feel this pact with a kiss. Ah, oh, there's the bow. <laughs> there's the needle part. And there we go, that is it. After 12 hours and 38 minutes, Conquest of the Longbow has been conquested. Prince John, the Sheriff of Nottingham, the Abbot and the Prior have been arrested and exiled. Robin Hood is Earl of Huntington, and the Lady Marion is ours. The legend of Robin Hood has been written. Yes, conquered. There, there was the word I was looking for. Conquered. Yes, it was. Um, yeah, it was an entertaining game. I think I think it was well done. Um, definitely on the easier side as we've been talking about. I mean, it was pretty easy. Uh, I think there was only one or maybe two puzzles that took me more than a few minutes to get through. And um, uh, but you know that's not to say it was it was a bad game. I thought it was done well. Obviously, well, you know the whole Robin Hood mythos was definitely there and present. Um, Maybe could have used a little bit more humor, but like it, it was still fun. I think a good mix and variety of gameplay. Also worth noting, it was well. Um, it was a good improvement, I think, too, from the first conquest game, Conquest of the of Camelot, which was the uh, King Arthur game. I thought the uh, they improved the arcade portions tremendously, although they're still bad. But at least it wasn't as much arcade. What there was was not as uh, the controls were a bit better. And um, I think the puzzles were better too. I think it was just um, more well-rounded, I would say, not as many rough edges. So uh, good game. Thank you, Jen with Classes, uh, for the pick. I know it was in the a long road up the viewer queue, but um, to me it was worth it. It was an uh, enjoyable game. Um, I'd be interested to know whether Christy Marks, who was the uh, game author, designer, I wonder whether they ever thought or had plans to make a third Conquest game, or... If you guys remember in the manual, there was a bit of a... She got a bit salty with all of the pir uh, piracy that apparently occurred with Conquest of Camelot, so I, I wonder if that... Maybe, you know, obviously the game, I'm sure the commercial performance had something to do with that, but I wonder how big a factor she's like, oh, fuck this, I'd spend a, a year and a half on this game only for everyone to pirate it, or whatever the uh, feeling was at the time. But yeah, that was a pretty long rant session. But uh, yeah, well done. Okay, it looks like the credits are looping. So let's head to our Hall of Adventure. And at game number 80, Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood, up on the shelf. There it is. <laughs>